95 days, I just saw an email from somewhere saying something, right? Isn't that crazy? 95 days, like that's like nothing. <laughs> So first thing first, I wanted to start off by apologizing that I actually decided not to vlog yesterday and so I just basically took the entire day off. I didn't edit, which you guys will have known because like no vlog went up that day. I put it up. It's actually about to go live right now. But um, yeah, so I took the day off. I didn't edit. I didn't film. I just, you guys know how crazy life has been over the last week and Melissa and I have just been like nonstop running around getting things done, trying to get everything ready for our move in two weeks and trying to get everything planned for our wedding in three months and you know, just life has been absolutely crazy. And so I just basically, I was exhausted. I just needed a day off and yeah, so I decided to give myself one. <laughs> I know you guys totally will understand because you're always so supportive about like, you know, knowing that, you know, life gets crazy and life comes first. And I also, I want to keep vlogging fun and I don't want it to become this, you know, stressful chore and this like, you know, you know, one more thing that adds to my stress. I want it to be, you know, my escape and my, you know, my fun thing in my life because I do truly love doing it. And so I don't want to start, you know, resenting it or feeling like, you know, I don't want to do it. And so, you know, I just decided to give myself a day off. And that is actually the only, the second day I have skipped vlogging since I started back in early October last year, I think. And when I started, honestly, I didn't even like commit right away to doing like daily vlogging for like, you know, indefinitely. I basically was kind of like, I'm going to start doing it and see, you know, how it goes and I'll do however much or whenever I feel like it and I won't, you know, do it when I don't. And so I think I still am keeping to that because I'm still doing it as much as I can and I'm not doing it when I can't, but it just happens that, you know, I'm doing it a lot more than I even originally thought. So yeah, anyways, I just did kind of want to shout out and say that I'm sorry that, you know, you missed a day. Really, you didn't miss anything because I totally, I just gave myself a day off. I've just been like exhausted and there's just, you know, so much that I've been trying to get done and I'm kind of just getting overwhelmed and stressed. And so I just wanted to, you know, decompress, give myself a day and I just kind of relaxed all day long. I did work on my invitations because those we want to get ordered today. Um, because we're trying to take advantage of a really good sale that Minted is having and they also need to go out pretty soon. So I did some work on that. But other than that, I, you really, we just kind of hung out and took it easy. And, um, we ended up watching Finding Dory last night. So that's kind of what we did with our evening. And yeah, but you didn't miss much. So anyways, it's Monday morning. And, um, so Monday is actually clothes laundry day. And so I'm going to kind of get started on that. And I have a whole bunch of other stuff that I need to get done. I do need to kind of outline the week in my bullet journal because we started a whole, like we started, um, this starts a new month for me, basically. I know it's still February, but in my bullet journal, since uh, this week is, you know, the majority of it will be in March, I just put the weekly this week in my March section. I don't know if that makes any sense, but anyways, I have to draw out my weekly um, layout in my bullet journal and just, you know, continue to get things on my never-ending to-do list checked off. So yeah, I'm gonna go put all my laundry in right now and make sure that gets all done, and then I'm gonna start tackling the rest of my list. Okay, so I got my first load of laundry in. Now I'm going to um, draw out like all the outline or layout or whatever in my bullet journal for this week like I was talking about so that I can kind of get everything organized and put all my, you know, all my thoughts and all my to-dos into my planner and so I have kind of a place to work off of because if I don't have a planner, I'm kind of flying blind and so much less gets done. So yeah, planner gets priority. So I'm gonna do that, get that all set up and hopefully tackle a bunch more stuff today. Thank you. 
Okay, so I pretty much have this whole week all set up, and I thought I'd kind of show you guys what my weeks look like before it gets like all filled out. I don't know if I've done this before, but I don't know, I'm doing it again if I did. <laughs> and so I kind of rushed through this week, so it doesn't look the best because I was honestly just trying to get it, you know, done so I had a planner for this week. But here's how it looks. This is what things look like before it all gets filled out. I have, you know, Monday through Sunday up there, and that's where I write all of my, you know, to-do lists and stuff that I need to get done for the week, and that's also where I, like, um, go back in and kind of record any, you know, errands I ran or, you know, plans I had or places I went or whatever. I usually do to-do lists, you know, starting from the top, and then I will, like, you know, stamp in what we ended up doing that day if we did anything kind of towards the bottom. And then over here is my meal plan. I'll write the meal plan in pencil at the beginning of the week, and then at the end, or as each day, you know, happens, I'll erase the plan and then write in what we actually had. And then over here, I have kind of like a monthly outline. Um, usually there's only one month, but since this week goes from, you know, February to March, I have two months, and then I'll kind of like draw a line through what the actual like you know where we are in the month so I can kind of I don't know at a glance see where we're at over here is my habits box and so stuff like you know push-ups yoga journaling anything you know any habits I'm trying to work on I will you know write over here and then each day that I do that um habit I will mark off in you know these boxes which is you know there's seven from um Monday through Sunday and then down here, this is, I've actually made my, um, recently I turned this box into like my wedding tasks section of my planner since things are starting to happen, you know, fast and furious as you guys know. And so I wanted a specific place in my planner for all things wedding. And then over here, um, this is kind of just a general notes page, anything that I really want to jot down. I don't know. I never really end up using this section, so I might repurpose it, but I also kind of like having it there if I do end up needing it at some point, so that's what that is. And then this is my next week box, so anything happening in the upcoming week, I'll kind of just jot out here so I can keep that in the back of my mind and, you know, prepare anything if I need to for, you know, whatever's happening next week. And so now that that is all finished and set up, I'm going to start filling it out with, you know, my to-do list for the week and kind of write down a meal plan and, yeah, get the ball rolling with getting things organized for the week and then I can actually start getting things done. <laughs> all right, so it is a little later since the last time I vlogged and I have basically been knee-deep in wedding invitations and for the last, I would say, at least, like, two hours or something because it was since you left for the gym, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Melissa got home, went to the gym, and now she's back. But, um, yeah, I've been working on kind of, like, triple-checking everything with the invitations, making sure all of the guests are put into, like, their addressing thing and that everyone's address is correct and, like, because we've changed things since we ordered, like, changed some addresses and added some guests and I just changed things since I saved the dates. And so I was just making sure everything is all set up with that and making sure, like, all the words on the actual invitations are, you know, correct and everything. And so I think everything's good to go. Melissa, we got our hotel... So, yeah, I think we're good to go to order invitations. Sorry, my mind is just, like, completely... I've been staring at a computer for two hours. But anyways, Melissa is home, and we are eating dinner, and then I think we're going to order our wedding invitations. You want to say hi? You haven't said hi to them yet today, have you? Mm -mm. Hello. She's Hello. already eating dinner because I took too long to come down, and now I'm updating you guys instead of eating my dinner. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to go eat and relax. <laughs> we're doing stuff. We already started, but... <laughs> we remembered halfway through that we should probably be sharing. Yes. Halfway through we remembered, oh, we should vlog this! <laughs> so basically we're doing what we've been talking about doing for the last... How many weeks now? A lot. And we are sorting through the china cabinet to kind of get rid of things that we don't need slash want to move with us. So... So I'm gonna put you down. Alright, we took a break. Now we're back at it. kind of how things are looking now a whole lot cleaner a whole lot less cluttered 
it does kind of stink to finally get it all like organized and everything, you know, decluttered and kind of, you know, put back a little nicer right before we have to, you know, take everything out and move it again. So, but I don't know, at least there's less that we have to declutter because this is all the stuff that we're getting rid of. So all this stuff is leaving, including this stuff, and we'll either donate it to Goodwill or ask some friends if they want it or, yeah, try and find a home for it and if we can't, donate it. But it does feel good to kind of get the clutter out of here because it just always feels good to get clutter out and just get rid of the things you don't use, don't want, and aren't actually bringing joy to your life. And while we were doing that, I think we actually like fully, completely, 100% finished setting up the invitations so they're all ready to be ordered. And I think I, I'm having my parents order them because I want them shipped to um, their house since we're moving. I don't want them to like be delivered to this apartment by accident when we're not living here anymore. So yeah, I'm having it sent to their house and I believe they already ordered them. But yeah, that's really exciting. I can't wait to like show you guys. They're like really pretty. Melissa actually picked them out, but they like... I don't know, they're really, really pretty, and I can't wait to show you guys. I don't think I'm going to show you on the computer. I'm, I'm going to show you, like, once we get them in person, because, first of all, I'm going to have to, like, block out some, you know, identifying information, obviously, and, um, but, yeah, it'll just be more fun to see them in person, too, because they have, like, some gold foil details, so you'll be able to see that better if it's, you know, like, on an actual card. But, yeah, I can't wait to get them and can't wait to show you guys, and I'm really excited that we ordered them. So I just got official confirmation that our wedding invitations were ordered. Yay! I'm so excited. They look so pretty. I know I keep saying that, but they do. Are you excited? Uh-huh. Melissa likes them too. She actually picked out the design. The like final chosen design. She was the first, first one to be like, I like that one. Look at the dog. Watching me, popcorn. Look at the uh -huh. dog. And now she looks away. <laughs> but yeah, we are eating our popcorn and we're about to watch our most recent episode of The Hundred. And then probably go to bed. You wanna say goodnight actually? Sure. Alright. Good night. She's trying to get across me. <laughs> Where Must you going? get to the popcorn, right? I'm just gonna Taking sit right. Can you even here. see her anymore? There you go. There she is. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We have anything else to share before we sign off? I walked uphill for forty minutes today. Forty minutes at the gym. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good job, baby. Oh yeah, we started doing push-ups again last weekend. We both kind of fell off the wagon with like the crazy week we had, but Saturday we did them, today we did them, and we're going to continue doing them every day from now on again. I did them yesterday too. Did you? I think I forgot. I don't... You did. I reminded you what you forgot. Did yeah. I? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, anyways, we're getting back on the wagon with that. And yeah, things are going good. I got two months to get in shape, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. 95 days. I just saw an email from somewhere saying... Something, right? Isn't that crazy? 95 days. Like, that's like nothing. <laughs> oh, we almost officially have our caterer. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but we like have them picked out. We have our date saved with them. And we're just kind of like in the process of figuring out. Stop licking the blanket. <laughs> the menu. I so a rehab for popcorn. <laughs> we have our caterer, but we're still working out the exact like food that we're going to serve, basically. Uh-huh. But yeah, that's we're calling her tomorrow. Oh, right, we are, yeah, to, like, kind of figure out, because we've been emailing back and forth so far, and that's just kind of, you know, that's I always just a pain. DJ. Anybody know a DJ in Maryland? <laughs> yeah, that'll be next. DJ and officiant and flowers. Yep. Those are the big ones left. Although, technically, we don't need an official officiant, so honestly, if we get anybody to just stand up there and talk. Yeah, as long as they're, like, a good actor. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Well, on that note. <laughs> I love y'all. I love you, too. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching the vlog, and I hope it was a little more interesting today than it was in the past week. But yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. You're eating all the popcorn without me. Uh-huh.